Hey friends, welcome back to another Off the Farm Adventure. So before we take the truck and do a little truck camping, let's go ahead and take a little hike with the wife and the dogs just through the woods here at home. I like to take the dogs on a walk. They like it, especially this time of year after winter. It's starting to get a little nice out. We got a couple uh, days here where it's been in the 40s. And it's getting to that time of year. It's still a little early, but it's getting to that time of year where you could start seeing some shed antlers from deer. So every year we start taking walks every weekend, looking for the, the first shed antlers of the year, kind of a little competition between the wife and myself, see so you can get the first one and then see so you can get the biggest one and see so you can get the most every year. So let's go ahead and go on a, out on a walk. And then when we get back from that, we'll take the truck camper out. And I got some things I want to test tonight. Come along with. in there? Is there a mouse in there? Is there a mouse? Marsh! In that hole, there's a mouse. Get it. Is it in there? It says there's not one in there, Mom. bed down in all these treetops all over this whole this whole valley out here after the woods got logged they bed down everywhere they're probably watching us right now get the stick get it get the stick get it get it get it Get it. Get it. Oh, there's a stick. Get that stick. You can get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Oh, good job. You got that oh, stick. He's proud of that one.
So we're gonna test out that diesel heater today. So we're sitting at just under half a tank. <clears throat> All right, so we're back here on some private property. Totally off grid. Cause I got some things I wanna test out. This isn't far from home. Anytime I'm testing anything out for the first time, I always like to be somewhat close to home in case it's just a major failure. Better to be safe than sorry. But we got, we got some good views here. Because it's private property, I'm gonna take my window covers off so I can have a view while I'm inside. But first things first, I gotta get a charcoal grill going while I still can, because we're gonna be losing light. need to worry about the corn starting on fire it's completely soaked out here this was all covered with snow two days ago and yesterday and today we're both in the 40s so it's just soaked So these are cheddar cheese balls stuffed Anaheim peppers wrapped in bacon. We're gonna do that over the charcoal. And then we're gonna have some hot dogs with it over the charcoal as well. And then just some normal ketchup. And then I'm gonna give this a try as well. Jalapeno aioli. So while we, while we wait for that to cook, I'll show you the uh, new additions to the truck. Blue Eddy EB55, it's 700 watt, 537 watt hour portable power station. My goal is mainly for this to run my diesel heater in the winter. And then obviously for sure during the summer, it'll be all the power I'd ever need off grid for charging phones and laptops and anything like that. But tonight we're gonna try to do all of it. We're gonna try to power the diesel heater and all my gadgets. All right, so while our food cooks outside, let's go ahead and get this sucker going. So I have this all wired up so I can just plug it in. We're at, should be right at 100%. Yep. So that's plugged in. Then you can see right behind it, I got that mounted there. And then the pump will start clicking. 
and then we'll have heat. It'll run the fan will once it starts pumping at first, it goes way up high, the fan goes all the way on its highest setting, and it gets this thing cools down to whatever temperature you have it set at. Now I cheaped out and went with the cheap Chinese diesel heater. It was around 200 bucks versus the name brand ones here in the States are about 2000 bucks. So my thermometer or my uh, thermostat reads in Celsius, but I guess it'll force me to broaden my horizons and learn Celsius a little better. We'll go outside and see if we can hear the, oh, it started pumping fuel. Okay, so we, we got, it's going. So I mounted the pump and everything outside. So once once the rig's up to temperature in there and the fan cools down a little bit on that diesel heater, it's real quiet. It's quieter than the electric heater, to be honest. That was cool. I was off just filming distant things you could see from this little point. And all those deer, a couple of them, at least a couple of them were bucks, came by. Might as well cook up these last two. Plus, I just realized I forgot my buns after my wife reminded me twice not to forget them. my diesel heater 
plumbed right into the tank of my truck. So it's taken, so it's taken diesel right out of the, the fuel tank. When we got here, I had just under a quarter tank. I, I got it on a little shot. I got it on camera here, what I have. But we're gonna let this thing run all night if it's not too hot. And uh, see how much fuel we use overnight. Oh, it's getting real cold out here, friends. So nice in here and warm. Hey, look what I found. Ha, I thought I packed them. There we go. The only design flaw so far that I can see to how I have the diesel heater is it, it basically blows directly on the cooler which is counterintuitive, but I still have piping and stuff I can route it to shoot the air anywhere. I just haven't got to that point yet. I wanna make sure it works and everything before I dive in too deep. So right now, the diesel heater's still on, it's on low. There it is right there. You can't really see that. And I'm running my lights off this and it's drawing three watts. We'll see if it'll run it all night. I'm a little leery about the peppers. They're probably fine. Um, but their best buy date was the 9th. It's currently the 12th. And certain peppers don't agree with me anyway. So we'll see how they go. I was totally planning on cooking them earlier, but life happens and I just wasn't able to get out to do a camp, you know, until today. Put some of that Jalapeno aioli. We'll give it a try. Better have my drink ready. Just drinking some sparkling water. Watermelon. Ooh, that's good stuff. Mmm. Nothing beats the taste that charcoal gives to food. I still can't believe all those deer. On camera, it looks like they're a little further away because it always does. Anytime you got a wide angle lens on anything, it makes everything look further away. That's why a lot of passenger side rear view mirrors or passenger side mirrors on cars say objects in mirror are closer than they appear. Because they're also convexed so that you can see more. Basically the same thing as a lens, but it makes things look further away. But I'm pretty sure there was a good chance that those might have all been bucks. Maybe some young ones and some older ones. But this time of year, normally they're bachelor grouped up. Bouncing between two and three watts with all these lights on and running the diesel heater. which I'm sure you can tell, it's pretty quiet. I'm sure you can hear it, but you can hear the pump, that's outside, it's not bad in here. And normally when I have my electric heater on, I have to shut that off actually to video with you guys because it's so loud. I was getting hungry. I haven't eaten since this morning 
it was uh, I, I went to a baptism for my little godson and they had a pretty good little meal in the church afterwards so but I haven't eaten since then sun should come up right over there we are literally the back of the trucks facing due east I was joking with my wife a little bit today it's like I hustled to get this diesel heater installed and then life happens and needless to say it's a week later than when I wanted to have it installed and it was like mid to upper 40s today snow melting so I told the wife I'm like watch this now I finally got my diesel heater installed spring's gonna come and I'll use it like three times and not have to use it anymore that's generally how my luck goes, but I'll have it all ready for next winter. And normally up here in Wisconsin, February's normally still pretty cold, and even all the way through March, we can actually some of our biggest snowfalls, snowstorms have been in March. So because I'm not too far from home, I'm testing this this Blue Eddy out. I'm going to have charge my phone tonight, run the diesel heater all night, and we're going to run these lights. When I really don't even have to run the lights, I have I have all these battery lights for when I'm off grid, but I just kind of want to see what it can do. All right, let's dig into one of these peppers here. I don't even know if Anaheim peppers are that spicy. Let's try a little bit with some bacon on it. They don't, they don't taste like they've gone bad. I just don't know if I'm a big fan of them. Mm. Mm -mm. They taste like if, if, if you're a person that would like those. They'd probably be good. But I don't think I'm going to go out of my way to buy them again. These dogs are good, though. Maybe I'll try this bigger pepper. It didn't get quite as done slash burnt. Mm -mm. Well, friends, I think that's a pass on the peppers. I'm sure some of it has to do with my terrible cooking over that charcoal. I guess you win some, you lose some. I was debating on taking, I brought leftovers home from the baptism and that was real good. Sloppy Joes and actually hot dogs, not these ones, but, but these were starting to, like I said, they needed to be cooked or something because they were getting a little bit past their best by date. Probably should have just brought the leftovers from the baptism. Yep, still bouncing between two and three watts. All right, so I'll show you where the diesel heater is installed. Right there. And it doesn't get hot around the outside, so this drawer is in no danger. The air coming out of that, though, is warm. But it's still not so warm that it would like burn something in front of it. Maybe on high for a while, but even then I doubt it. And we got the old carbon monoxide detector out. Just to be safe. Oh, that All that's exhausted outside, but I just want to make sure I don't have anything coming back in the truck or anything like that. And then what we got here is some chicken jerky. My dad gave me this to snack on. That's a big old hunk of chicken jerky, but it's good. So diesel heater. If you plan on running a diesel heater off a portable power station, make sure you read your uh, outputs and stuff. Because I screwed up, <clears throat> which also added to me 
one of the reasons why I'm, I didn't get this done in time. So they sell different sizes of diesel heaters. They sell 2 kilowatt, 5 kilowatt, 8 kilowatt, maybe higher than that, I don't know. I just seen the 2, 5, and 8 kilowatt. And the first one I ordered was an 8 kilowatt because I wasn't paying attention. Well, I got it all plumbed in and went to try it. And it would start its startup sequence. The glow plug would come on. And then the fan would start slowly start ramping up. And then it, the fan would, RPM would kind of dip a little bit and come back up and then the machine would shut off. And there'd be a little code on there, on the Blue Eddy that would say short. So I started looking into it. Well, I mean, it says right on, it says right there, 10 amp. So here I am trying to run it off the cigarette lighter, or 12 volt socket, whatever you want to call it. I'm old school, I call it a cigarette lighter. Well, the eight kilowatt takes more, uses more than 10 amps. So it was shorting out my, my Blue Eddy. Or it was the Blue Eddy internal breaker, something was tripping. So then I did some research and I, and I found that the two kilowatt, which is more than enough to heat this truck, actually, it can be an overkill at max just maxed out as high as it can go draws nine amps so it's close but it works but that's the whole reason for this test night i want to see you know once it ramps up and once it's working and all that but well, we should be past the hard part now because i would think that the most draw that that diesel heater would ever draw is during startup because it ramps this fan up real high plus the uh, the glow plug is on, which is basically a heating element, which takes a lot of power. So we'll see. I'm actually going to turn it up just a little bit, but so far I like it. Still sitting at 100%. That's the one thing I don't like about this Blue Eddy, because I before I did YouTube, before I made YouTube videos of my adventures, I actually had a van that I had. A fridge solar panel and a jackery and the jackery would tell me percentage each percentage it, it was at so if it was at 99% it would tell me 99% but this blue eddy only goes in increments of 20 20 40 60 80 and 100 so in between those increments I have no idea so I'm curious to know when I get down to 20 it's just gonna say 20 until there's no battery left, I'm assuming. So one minute I could look at it and it could say 20%, and a minute later it could just be dead. I don't know. So I wish I wish that would be a little closer than 20% increments. But other than that, me personally, I think I like the Blue Eddy a little bit better. I need more time to be for sure on that. And clearly I'm not sponsored by either one. I don't even have 300 subs. So having owned both, as it sits right now, I think I like the Blue Eddy better. I like the shape of it better. The batteries are slightly better because it's a lithium ion phosphate battery instead of just lithium ion. All right, I'm gonna get changed into my jammas. All right, so we got, I turned up the diesel heater so fans on high, it'll stay on high until it gets up to the temperature that I set it at, and then it will calm back down. So we got the lights on, diesel heaters on high, charging two GoPro batteries. Those lights look green in this camera for some reason, but they're yellow. That means they're charging. And we're running 31 watts still at 100%. My guess is we'll be at 100% all the way till we're at 80%. Just a guess though. Long story short, if you're thinking about getting a diesel heater, and you're thinking about running it on a portable power station, make sure the portable power station is big enough to run it for all night because you can't just, a diesel heater, if you, 
you can't just run out of battery and have it shut off because when these things when you shut them off they go through a cool down sits a cool down Coyotes. I didn't know if you could hear that or not. The GoPros don't pick that stuff up very good for some reason. I was sitting in here with all the windows shut, diesel heater running, talking to you and I heard it outside. Portable power stations have a 10 amp cigarette lighter. So you wanna make sure you get a uh, diesel heater that's gonna draw less than, than 10 amps. I'm really hoping this all works like I think it's going to throughout the night. We don't use too much battery and uh, if that's the case then this truck would be darn near limitless on where I can take you guys camping. The only thing that would limit me is me and my normal person job that I have Monday through Friday. <laughs> Currently 68 degrees in here. 32 degrees outside so let me know down in the comments if you have any questions about my diesel heater setup um, the instructions that came with it were junk uh, so if you're gonna buy a cheap Chinese diesel heater just expect the directions to be absolute garbage uh, misspelled words I'm pretty sure they take their Chinese instruction manual and then just have like a generic computer translator translate it. So some of it doesn't even make sense. There's words spelled wrong. Some words don't even have spaces in between them. Just know to expect that. Having said that, oh, and uh, your thermostat's gonna read in Celsius, which for 90% of the countries in the world, that's perfectly fine. But other than the garbage instructions and the thermostat reading in Celsius, they do work. So let me know if anyone has any questions. I will answer them if I can. I'm not a genius on these things. I like to say I know just enough about enough to get me in trouble normally. <laughs> but I think everything here is good. I mean, it's all working. For once, my feet ain't cold. We got several movies downloaded. We got The Red Notice, The Decline, and Arctic. And I think I might start with Arctic. So uh, I just got done watching the movie Arctic. It was pretty good. I think there's uh, more to be desired at the end. I guess that's what I'll say without spoiling anything. Currently 63 degrees in here and 29 degrees outside. I think it's time for me to hit the hay. So uh, we'll see you all in the morning. Good morning, friends. Heater worked awesome. Just shut it off now because it was hot in here. It's currently 71 degrees inside, 35 degrees outside. So we ran the diesel heater all night, charged up two GoPro batteries, and had my phone plugged in all night. Still at 60%. Now because of the way it is, we're not really at 60%. We're somewhere in between 40 and 60%. But that's pretty good, because we had 7.46 a.m., so that means it's running 
we ran that for almost 14 hours. And we ran our lights for 45 minutes last night. So I'm happy with that. Real happy. Now the only thing that could ruin a guy's day is if we went to get in the truck and I got no diesel fuel left. But I, I don't think that's gonna happen. So when we go to leave, we'll have to look at how much fuel it used overnight. But I had, I had under half a tank. It was above three eighths of a tank, but less than half. All right, friends, that's what 13 hours of use, use. I hope you enjoyed this one. Let me know if you have any suggestions, questions. Let me know what you thought, think of the diesel heater and how I got it set up. If you like it, don't like it. Uh, it wasn't as loud. Some people were saying it's gonna be real loud. You can hear it, you can hear the pump. Uh, not an issue though. Uh, I slept all night real well. If you want to catch up on my last video, if you want to see my last video, go ahead and click on this link. If you want to see all my truck camping videos, I've created a playlist. It's right over here. And as always, um, thank you to the military men and women. Thank you for your service. It's because of all of you brave souls that people like me can go out and truck camp. So thank you. And we'll see you on the next video.